I can say everybody listening right now, well, you know, oh good, there's like sixty people in here still. Holy shit. Um We're gonna watch cartoons. Yeah, we are gonna watch cartoons, but realize I'm not saying you have to go for the candidate that I like, which is, if you haven't figured it out, I really like Bernie Sanders, and that's who I voted for, <laughs> and that's who I'm going to vote for in the general, assuming that he wins the nomination, obviously. Warren's they, still my second the pick. only, The only scenario in which I do not vote for whatever Democratic candidate it is, is if Bernie goes to the convention with the most votes and somehow does not get the nomination, in which case I'll be writing in Bernie Sanders, and I do not care. You can t- say that I helped get Trump elected, whatever the fuck. The fucking Democratic Party does not blanket deserve my fucking vote, okay? Black people have been saying, minority communities have been saying this for years. They do not automatically get your vote. They have yeah. to earn it. And if they rat fuck this election and say, well, you know that a lot more people voted for Sanders, but we're just going to fucking stick booty in there or fucking we're going to stick Biden in there. No, no. I would rather see they will never fucking learn unless they lose so much that they have no option but to listen to the constituents. The Democrats will not willingly start suddenly listening to working people, listening to their voters. No, they have to be forced into it or eliminated. And a new party must emerge. Like, there is no... Uh, no. <laughs> what happens if by some miracle... <laughs> if Bernie genuinely loses to someone else, yeah, I'll vote for them. No, Whatever. I'm saying if Bloomberg gets it. If Bloomberg gets it and did not get the most votes, I will not vote for Bloomberg. I will write in Bernie Sanders. I will not vote for anyone who did not get the most votes in the Democratic primary. Mm. The end. I think... <laughs> <laughs> 